it's dad welcome to the gaming with dad show today we are looking at mars farming 2034 for the nintendo switch presently on sale for two dollars 99 cents normally 9.99 i am looking to get my inner matt damon on with this one that's all i'm going to say can you green the red planet and carve out a new home for humanity welcome to the red frontier in Mars Farming 2034, you are tasked with transforming the harsh Martian landscape into a thriving agricultural haven. This low-poly style simulation game invites you to master the art of extraterrestrial farming where every crop counts and every harvest takes you one step closer to self-sustainability on a new planet. Originally released May 10th, 2024, single system simulation arcade from Dementi Games. Rated E for everyone, supports all three play modes, 394 megs on your memory card, and it's in English. So, uh, can't wait to grow some poop potatoes. Poop potatoes? Let's go with poop potatoes. Um, if you haven't seen The Martian, Go see it. It is actually a great movie. Even though it has Matt... Um, God, what's his name? I just said it a second or two ago. Um, oh, well. So, Mars Farming. This is a thing that exists. I don't even know if I want to call it a game. Let's be honest. Uh, graphically, yes, it goes low poly... Which is fine, but it really is ugly. I hate to say that. This, this game just does not do it for me. Uh, Mars is a little too red. They took it too literally. Uh, I guess if we're to believe anything from NASA, it, it's more of an orangish than a red. Um, at least in all the pictures I've seen from many of the rovers that we've landed there. Uh, but yeah, graphically, it's really not visually pleasing. I mean, I've played low-poly games before. I know this is kind of what to expect. And I've printed the low poly Pikachu, which is the mandatory first time you get a 3D printer, you have to print one. Uh, that was years ago. But the graphics just are not doing it for me on here. They're passable. They're non offensive. I mean, that's the most animated walk I've ever seen somebody do. Uh, but it, it's. Yeah, it's just not doing it for me. Graphically, this game gets a 15. That's it. Sound-wise. Okay, honestly, guys, I'm not going to go into the sound here too much. It's just... I am mildly offended. I'm giving sound a 14. I don't have anything else to say about it. Um, let's talk controls. This is where this game truly falls flat on its effing face. Um, first things first, you move yourself around by... You got it. Moving that giant mouse and clicking. Um, you select your items by moving the giant mouse and clicking. Um, it doesn't tell you, but you actually can plant seeds by... Right, moving the giant mouse, right clicking, selecting so, and then putting them into the planters. It took me a long time to figure out how to do that. It didn't actually ever tell you how to do that. It didn't tell you that there was a right click. I mean, you've got a controller in your hand. That right click doesn't make sense. Um, this is a farm simulator. This is actually a point-and-click disguised as a farm simulator. It's the laziest of all ports. Uh, I, I'm not even sure if this was ported from PC, but it would make sense if it was outside of the fact that the mouse is an actual computer mouse. Not an arrow. 
an actual computer mouse. And yes, you actually have to figure out when you click on something, it's actually the scroll wheel on the mouse. I, I, it, it's the controls are horrendous. Um, they are offensive. The presentation of the controls is worse. The explanation of the controls is non-existent. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, this is the amount of love. It's less existent than the amount of love ex-wife number one demonstrated to me. Um, controls are getting a 13. Uh, we are presently at 42. So now we go to gameplay. Gameplay is tiring and a chore. That's, uh, you're on a, another world. It should be exciting. Yes, eventually you do get to do things like craft weapons and go explore other areas of Mars where there are large monsters that you then get to slash by clicking on them. There, look, there's a giant bug monster. It's as convincing a giant bug monster as most of the special effects and aliens from the initial classic run of Doctor Who. It's just... Oh. This game kills me every time I try to play it. And I don't mean as in my character dies. That hasn't happened. Through hours of gameplay, it hasn't happened. Yeah, I, you, you are seeing the tutorial here because I don't like spoiling things for you. But... Honestly speaking, gameplay, just, you're never going to see beyond the tutorial. I can almost guarantee it. Gameplay gets a 12. We're at 54. So, at 299, I'm pretty sure I said 299 before, um, this game, you're not going to make it past it. The, the tutorial. I'm serious. You're not going to get three hours of gameplay out of it. I mean, I did, but only because I'm making this video and I wanted to see what the hell this game had to offer. The value gets a four. It's a grand total of 58. I understand a D gets the degree and you've created something that is vaguely close to functional. There, I've played or reviewed worse things on this channel. Not a lot, but I have reviewed worse. I'm just not thinking of any of them right now. So, yeah, do yourself a favor. Go buy something else for $2.99. This isn't the game for you. We'll talk later. Bye bye Made it this far? Make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment all that wonderful stuff for the algorithm, and be good people.